Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I use Dubsado, my CMS system, to create invitation proofs. And you can get 20% off of uh, your first month or your first year with my code BYLANEY, B-Y-L-A-N-E-Y, or by using the link below this video. So I'm in the job here and I'm going to Forms. And I have it already created. I'll show you that. It's called Invitation Proof. And this is a subcontract which gives it this signature field at the bottom, and that just makes it a legally binding agreement. So I like to have that for proofs because when they finally sign off on them for printing, they are legally obligated um, to have checked over everything for spelling errors or anything they wanted to change. So this is what I use. I'll even print this out um, to do my production so I make sure I get everything right. So I'll go ahead and add that, edit this, and of course, we're in the process of rebranding a little, so we gotta update our new logo and everything, but then we've got the client name and the date. We've got a little welcome just telling them that this is a mock-up of all their pieces. And I'll use one that I just created a little bit ago that I really love. So the mock-up just shows them kind of what everything's gonna look like together and gives them a really good first impression of the entire suite. So I love this, um, and then we go into the individual proofs from there. So right here, I include the size. So for instance, for the A, for the invitation, it's A7. We include the paper stock, and we include the paper color. And if I need anything else like print methods or anything like that, I'll include that in that box as well, or any notes about that piece. So then we'll go through and we've saved all of our individual artboards as JPEGs or exported from AI as JPEGs. So they're all right here where we've uploaded. And then it's hard to see this all on one screen. So what we're gonna do is make that a little bit smaller, even a little bit smaller than that. So you can kind of see it all on one screen because that's important. And then we're gonna just copy this guy and insert the back of the invitation. I just love all these tiles. Each one is my favorite at different times of day. <laughs> so there we've got the back of the invitation and then we move on to the RSVP card. We put in the size. I typically put both because four bar is what makes sense to me, but then the actual numbers are what makes sense to the client. So this is eggshell and this is also going to be bright white. So then since we used 60%, um, so the number up here is the width um, in comparison to the whole screen. So since we used 60 on the last one, we're gonna use 40 so that it's just a little bit smaller because we don't want it to be confusing size-wise. And then we also have a details card, so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste both of these guys. Oops. There we go, and just move the RSVP one up here. Then we'll go here and do details. We don't always have a details card, so I just leave it like that. And this one's 4.5 inches square. Same as all of those things. So then I'll include that, and we want to keep it about the same size as the reply card, because it's about that same size. And then there's the back of it, perfect. And then I have this detail section, which is where I include um, all the other things. So we have a quantity of 82, finishing. We have a silk ribbon, belly band, and square gold wax seal. This belly band is going to be wine, gold wax seal. Then we have envelopes, we have blush envelopes, printed envelope liners, and then for addressing we have printed returns, gold calligraphy guest addresses. And then I also provide pictures of all of those details, so I'll add a few more images in here. Um, so I'm going to start with 
the RSVP envelope and we used 40% for the RSVP card. So we'll do that again here. Technically, since it's the other orientation, it'll be different. Slightly smaller, but that's okay. The envelopes aren't quite as detailed, so that's all right. And then we'll add both sides of the main envelope. And then we will add the envelope liner. And we don't have the wax seal design quite yet, but I do usually put that down here as well. So then we have all the individual pieces with their specific sizes and paper and all that kind of thing. We have all the finishing pieces down here. And then I have a little thing about text changes, design and layout, changes for details, um, which is all the finishing and everything. And then I have them remind me of their shipping address and they sign off. And what I do if they have changes, I tell them to use this form or they can email me if they prefer. And then what I do is I just copy this form and then you can click edit and I name it invitation proof two or three or whatever round we're on, usually just two or three. And then I can go in and upload the new one based on what's changed. So usually there's a new mock-up and then maybe they didn't have any changes to the invitation, but they had changes to the RSVP card. So then we go through and change that one, but I don't have to remake the entire proof. And then by the time we get to the end, they are able to sign off um, whichever one that they have clicked. Um, I'll show you at the bottom. Whichever one they've clicked yes on everything and signed off, that's the one where we're ready to print. All right, let me know if you have any questions.